Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mustafa. Today I'm going to teach you how you can use buttons in React in order to change the color text. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also check the description below because I have created a free ebook on how to make money online coding. So let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create two buttons. One button to change the color of that text to be red and the other button to change the color to be blue. So if, if the user clicks on the red color, it's going to change this color of, of this text to be red. And if the user clicks on the uh, blue button, it's going to change the color of that text to be uh, blue. So the first thing that we need to do, obviously, is that we need two buttons. Here I'm going to create button and then that button is going to say red and another button here button and that button is going to say blue and let's save and see that in the uh, browser now in the browser if you refresh you'll find that we have two buttons but let's add some um, CSS um, attributes to these buttons so for this button I'm going to say style and then the style is going to be equal to let's say background background color color and it's going to be red and for the um, for here it should be actually it should be object and comma and then the color itself color of that uh, button of that text is going to be say white white and then I'm going to do the same with the blue uh, button I'm going to copy the complete style and paste it in the other button and here it's going to be blue and also let's give it some margin margin and let's give it a margin of 5 and here also margin of 5 and let's save and head on over to the browser to see the difference. So as you can see, we have now two buttons, red and blue. So we want to add um, event uh, listeners to these two buttons. And um, to do that, we use the on click. So I'm going to here use the on click. And then here, this is going to call a method. And this on click is also going to call on click is going to call the same method but it's gonna pass a different uh, color so here in order to call a different um, in order to call a method all we need to do is that we need to pass here a um, an arrow function and also in the other button we pass an arrow function and then inside that arrow function we call the method that we want this the change color change color and then we pass we pass here the color that we want let's uh, pass here red and here in the uh, second one we pass this the change color and then I'm gonna pass blue and then we can create that method here we can create that method change color and it's going to be equal to an arrow uh, function and it takes it takes the color here as a parameter color and then we need to check that color value if that color color is equal to red then we want to we want to uh, set a value in the state here called color or text color and it's gonna be initially uh, by default it's gonna be black black and then um, here if the color is red um, obviously we want to use this that set state and then we change the color the text color to be red to be red or to be the color uh, here we, you can pass, uh, pass the the color here without even if statement you can immediately pass the color so if you remove the if statement 
it's gonna work if you remove that and only pass the color it's gonna work by the way because we already here remember we already passed the color red and blue so there is no need for if statement you can use if statement if you pass here a um, a variable a variable not a text so let's test now with this let's test now with this but obviously we need here to for uh, for this uh, h2 we, we we need to pass the color uh, here in, inside that style of that h2 so here style is going to be equal to color and then the color is going to be equal to is going to be equal to the this dot state dot text color and initially it's going to be black let's save and head on over to the browser to test so here as you can see it's initially black now if I click on this red as you can see the, uh, the color has now changed to be uh, to red if I click on blue it changed the color to the blue color and as you can see it worked and if you don't want to pass the color text like this if you don't want to pass red and blue you can pass the event E and also here E and then here you can also pass the E and here you can also pass the event and then us using that event you can access the uh, information about that button and remember here the uh, this button has a text has a blue uh, word with a capital B and the other one red with a capital R so we can access the event in the um, in that change color instead of color I'm gonna pass here E event and then we can check that event if E dot target dot inner HTML if that is equal to red with a capital uh, R then what we want to do is that we want to set the state this dot set state and then we want to set the text color here text color to be red with a with a small r and then else if you can add even here else if if the um, e dot target that inner HTML is equal to blue with a capital B we want to set the state here um, text color and then blue here blue and you can even have here else else you can just leave this that set state with a default color text color and then it's gonna be black and we are done let me now save and head on over to the browser and now in the uh, browser let me refresh and now if I click on red it's gonna work red it changed the color to be red and also the blue it changed the color to be blue so this is how we can use buttons to change the CSS style of a specific element in react if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also check the description below because I have created a free ebook on how to make money online coding. This is Mustafa, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.